talk about what the offense is doing to be so much better than you were early in the season. Yeah, I mean, what we're doing is, you know, it's it's awesome. You know, uh, beginning of the season, I think we struggled of really just trusting each other and kind of just doing our own assignments. And that's something I struggled with, too. You know, I, I knew the offense was counting on me to do my job, and I was struggling at the beginning of the season of doing that. And as each week goes on, uh, you know, I have more confidence, as, you know, and throughout the games we play and we play LSU, that really it was a confidence booster for me. And, uh, and as we go on, I think that, the whole confidence thing with our offense and you know, really just trusting each other. And that's what you know, we've been doing is playing together as a team. Okay, a lot of people will think blocking. They think, hey, you just line up and run into somebody and block them. But how much like technical work does it take to, to keep improving it like you've done at that position? Yeah, it's tough. You know, it's not an easy job at all. It's not, you know, there's, you know, in the SEC, there's, you know, the guys are big. And, you know, whoever I face each week, you know, the linebackers and DNs, and you now it's going to be a challenge for me. And to be technical, it's it's tough to get that spot where I can dominate. And, you know, there's still a lot of room I can improve on, and there's still a lot of things I can work on. And But I'm just going to do whatever I can, to, you know, to help this offense and to help Petway because, you know, that's what I love. I love making that block to, you know, put Petway through the hole and score because, you know, that's what I do. It's not about me. It's about this team. It's about Auburn. It's about, you know, making our offense better and successful. What, what did you see this coming from Cameron? Oh, I did. You know, I, I knew I knew it. You know, this last year is uh, we both put H back. You know, I, I knew he had so much talent in him. I knew he had so much more to give to this offense. And I'm just happy that they are, you know, letting him have this opportunity because, you know, he deserves it. And he's a good kid and he's humble about it. Are there times when the, the hardest hit you take on a play is, is him coming up behind you? Um, there's times, yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know, he, he's a bulldozer and he uh, he's powerful. And just watching him, too, you know, I, after I make that block and watching him down the field just run people over, it, it, it's fun. And I love watching that, and he, I mean, he's strong and just big. Chad, when did you start feeling like you had really command of what you were doing out there as a blocker? Uh, you know, really Mississippi State game. I mean, I, I mentioned LSU. You know, that was kind of a confidence booster for me. But uh, we got Mississippi State, and I just told myself, you know, Chandler, just you calm down, just play football. And that's what I did. I went out there and just, you know, I just did my thing and just tried to – you know, not really focus on me personally, but just focus on this team. You know, it's bigger than me, and it's bigger. You know, I want, and I want to help this offense be successful, and that's what I did for Mississippi State in the games previously. That and just uh, just tell myself, you know, I'm gonna do whatever I can to help Petway, you know, score, carry on score, just help this, you know, help us win games. And that's really just what's been I've been doing uh, just these past games. That leads you to kind of finish better, or what does that make you do? How did you get better? Yeah, I mean, really just finish better, finishing the play and you know, playing, playing, you know, just playing with heart. And uh, because, you know, you can work on a bunch of things, but at the end of the day, it's really how, you know, much heart you have and how much those guys are big. You know, I'm blocking DNs, you know, Miles Garrett, I'm, I'm blocking him and I'm blocking guys that are just, you know, so much bigger and stronger than I am. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to put up a fight and I'm going to do whatever I can to help my teammates. How much does that help? Maybe <clears throat> Yeah, it, it helps a lot because, you know, in fall camp, I just played mostly running back and really just learned the running back position. And uh, just being able to focus on H-back has really helped me a lot and really the focus, you know, go out to practice because, you know, in fall camp, I'll go out there like some peers. I'd be run, playing running back and H-back. I wouldn't be able to focus on one thing. And uh, But I'm kind of a guy who's just like going to do whatever the coaches tell me to do. I'm going to do whatever I can to help this team. And that's what I've been trying to do. But be able to focus just on H-back has helped me a lot. Still waiting on to give you the ball. Um, you know, you know, if that's what they want to do, they can. You know, I'm, I'm gonna do whatever I can to help this team. But you know, like I said, it's, it's not about me. It's not about what Chandler's gonna do with the ball. It's not about. But I want to do what's gonna help Petway run the ball and what's gonna help Carry On or Cam be successful. And that's what's important to me. That's what I get excited about. So you know, if they want to give me the ball, it's great. But you know, it's not a big deal. Chandler, you are getting some touches in the passing game. Though Mississippi State had a couple, had one last week. How much fun is it, though, to, to be able to get on the edge and, and catch it and, and do some things with it? Uh, it's super fun. And I, I still bum myself about it, you know, just getting tackled at the one-yard line against Mississippi State. But, uh, you know, it, it's awesome just being able to, you know, contribute like that, you know, catch some balls. I know that opens up the offense a little bit to be able to trust me on the edge. And, uh, you know, it, it's fun, though. I like having the ball in my hands. But, um, like I said, I'm going to do whatever I can to help this team win. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, he he's a great player, and uh, you know I have a lot of respect for him. Just watching him on TV, and uh, you know I, it's going to be a tough game on Saturday. You know it's it's Vandy, and you know all these teams in the SEC. You, you never know what you're going to get. You know it's they're all going to be tough, and we just got you know play our play the football that we've been playing, and just trust each other and that be able to get the job done. What has made them so successful against SEC? Uh, the defense definitely. They have a great defense and you know, really special teams as well. That kind of stands out to me. Um, just you know, the linebackers as well, and that 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 their D linemen really have good push on the offensive line. I think that's what helped the team out. And uh, so I mean, it's gonna be tough. And it's not gonna be easy, and we just gotta you know just play Auburn football. Um, I've seen a lot. You know, I know he was struggling a little bit. You know, just not be able to play much uh, and contribute as much as during the beginning of the season. But to um, have them put him at running back, uh, it's really helped him a lot. And I, I, he has so much talent; it's ridiculous. And I mean, it's fun to watch and the speed he has because you know sometimes I'm going to block for him. He beats me to my my guy. And I'm like, just follow me. Like I know I'm trying. I'm trying to go fast, but. Um, you know, he's a special player and an uh, even better kid. Uh, he's just humble about everything, and he's going to do whatever the, he can to help this team. Speaking of humble, is it, easy, is it easy for this team? All the fans are probably looking ahead to Atlanta or the Iron Bowl or whatever. Is it easy to stay humble for this team and level headed? Uh, it has, you know, it, that's something that's big for me. And, that, you know, I try to tell the guys that, you know, we just stay in the moment and stay, you know, one day at a time because it's easy to look ahead. It's easy to. You know, look past the team, but you know that's what we got to do. We got to focus one one game at a time, and uh, don't worry about what you know outsiders say because at the end of the day, it's our family. It's 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 a brotherhood that we have to stick together and play one game at a time because you, you never know what you get on Saturdays in college football. Anything can happen. You ever find yourself kind of laughing at some of the things Brady does on the field because he's the best finisher I've ever seen here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I laugh at it sometimes, and I just on the field, I'm like, dude, like, like, how do you do it? You know, just, uh, you know, I just bug him all the time. He's like Superman, really, and he's just so big, and uh, I always tell him, I'm trying to be like you. I'm trying to get as big as you, and just the stuff he does is incredible, and he's been, uh, you know, truly blessed with the, you know, the the body he has and the, the ability to play football because, you know, he's a special player, and he's going to have the opportunity at the next level, and that's something – and he's just, you know, he's just doing whatever he can to help this team. And that's what something you know, a lot of people, you know, kind of juice him up a little bit and, you know, put him on that pedestal. But he handles it, handles it pretty well. And uh, he does not worry about that. He just, you know, he's Brain Smith. He's going to do whatever he can to help this offense go.